Good morning. My name is Jennifer, and I will be the English dubber for this webcast made by Fabrizio Volpe, Microsoft MVP on Directory Services. The title of this webcast is Nokia Lumia 620 and Link 2013 Video Conferencing. The Lumia 620 is a budget smartphone based on Windows Phone 8. Its price is around $310. From a Link point of view, the interesting features are its 3.8-inch screen, a front-facing webcam of 0.3 MP, rear camera 5 MP and able to record 720p videos, supported WLAN standards, GSM, Edge, and HSPA Plus are supported, speaker with mono sound, in-ear headphones powered by Dolby Headphone with surround sound, 1 GHz Snapdragon with two processing cores, 512 MB RAM. As you can see in the screen, a comparison with a similar phone, the Sony Xperia, and with the bigger brother, Lumia 820, shows that processor and memory are less powerful. That is something that has its consequences when we are going to test Link 2013 video conferencing. The experience with the Link 2013 app. The Link app installs and runs with no issue. The configuration phase is almost trivial especially if the public DNS configurations for Link mobile clients and the certificates used to enable external user access have been planned and deployed correctly. Lumia 620 front-facing camera. The quality of the video is not good as we can expect from a webcam with such a low resolution. A bit more frustrating is the fact that the video is often lagging and not smooth, as you can see in the test. Moving the camera or the object you are recording does emphasize the problem. The Xperia phone I have used to compare the hardware specifics gives a better experience and this is a bit surprising because the facts are not so different. My impression is that not only the, the dissimilarity in the hardware dotation, but also the different operating systems used by the two devices have a part in this. Lumia 620 Rear Facing Camera while video conferencing using the rear camera is something that you will probably never use, I have tried it anyway to evaluate the different quality in the video. As you can see, the rear camera gives a result far better than the front-facing one. What does not change is the irregular flow of the video, with lags here and there. Again, motion is something that accentuates the problem. Conclusions Lumia 620 is an interesting phone, with a low cost and a lot of features and apps that we usually associate with pricier devices. The attempt to be a jack of all trades is something that I appreciate, but this one is a bit far to be an ideal solution to deploy Link 2013 to mobile users. Of course, if your main driver are the costs, then this is for sure a great device. Thank you very much for your kind attention.